what a beautiful morning. I woke up this morning to the call of the ptarmigan. Some of you may know already if you've watched last year's video. But uh, that is like one of my favorite, favorite sounds in all of nature. It's just this funny little call that they make, but uh, I love it and I love waking up to it. It's pretty much nature's best alarm clock you can get. But uh, yeah, I heard that and I woke up because if, uh, if I could hear it, that meant that the wind had died down a little bit. And so yeah, I sat up and sure enough, the wind's died down a little bit. There's just a little breeze now. Um, it feels like it's starting to pick back up, so we'll see how long this lasts, but I'm gonna utilize this time to uh, go out, see if I can find some bears, maybe those tarm again, and uh, see what we can get. I'm just getting some water filtered right now, and I'll get some breakfast real quick, and then I'll head out, get my contacts in, and head out. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful morning. It's just so peaceful and that breeze is so nice it just feels so good I love being out here all right let's go breakfast bears let's go little birds here in front of me. I'm not sure what they are. You guys will have to help me out. I uh, don't have cell reception out here, so obviously I can't look up what they are, but some sort of little shorebird. And they're just coming right, right here in front of me. Uh, it's been a pretty good morning. The wind's starting to pick up again, as you can tell, I'm sure. But uh, I still haven't gotten any fishing action, but I was able to get some other bears this morning, just kind of wrestling around, splashing in some water and stuff. It's kind of fun. But uh, yeah, and then I saw these birds. So I thought I would get some pictures of them, as you guys know. You know, I'm not all about the bears. That's the main reason I'm out here. But 
any animal I see, I'm, I'm gonna photograph. So, had some fun time, had a fun time with those birds, and I'm gonna keep going now, see what else I can find. What a day. Zoom out a little bit on this bad boy. There we go. What a day, what a day. Um, let's see where to start. So, it's still been pretty slow. I haven't seen much fishing. But uh, I did find something really cool today. I came out after I ate dinner go just to hike out onto the tundra a little bit, see what I could find. And as I was hiking, I noticed a red fox sitting on like this little hill. So I sat down and just kind of watched it for a while. Um, it was pretty buried in the grass, so it was kind of hard to get pictures. And then I noticed that it, well, it, it got up and it kind of went down and sat on this even more like sheltered grassy area. Oh, I got a bear right here. I gotta go around. It's okay, you're okay. Let me show you this bear, this bar. Okay. Can you see him in there? He's getting up. He looks really far away on this lens. But he's like 30 yards away maybe. Yeah, he looks really far away on this little lens. But he was like 25, 30 yards away. Didn't want to run into him. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so this fox. Oh, my arm's tired from holding this camera. Let me sit down for a minute. Sorry. All right, sorry about that. My arms get so tired when I hold the camera. But uh, okay, this fox. So he was just kind of napping and then he came down and went into this little even more sheltered area. I just sat there watching him and all of a sudden these little kits, these little fox kits, baby foxes, popped their heads up. And I counted three that I could see. I'll have to go back and look at the video. There may have been four, but I counted three. And uh, they just kind of sat there and looked at me for a while. I got a couple pictures. And then the adult started to seem a little bit nervous, so I moved off. I didn't want to bother him. But it's just been interesting. It's been an interesting trip. Like I was saying before, everything seems a little bit late. I mean, this time of year back home with the, the foxes that I usually photograph out there, the kits would be about the size of the adults right now. And uh, you know, these kits out here, are about the size of the ones I'd see, like 
mid-April. So it's just, I don't know what the time schedule for foxes usually is out here. But uh, things just seem a little bit late. But uh, I'm gonna, the sun just set and it's gonna start getting dark. So I'm gonna start making my way back to camp. I've still got a while to go. I hiked out pretty far onto the tundra tonight. So uh, I'm gonna make my way back. I've got some rice pudding calling my name right now. I can, I can hear it calling. <laughs> I had some the other night. Man, that was so good. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna see if I can stop by that little fox den on the way back. Just kind of look at it from a distance, see if there's anything out and about. But again, I don't want to bother him. But yeah, I, I gotta quit rambling. I gotta get back. It's starting to get dark, so we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. This morning, well, uh, last night I guess, some fog rolled in again. And uh, it stuck around a little bit this morning. So we got this beautiful little layer of fog here over the water. And I got up before sunrise and just took it all in. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. 
And right now I'm just getting some water boiling, and then I'll go up and do some cooking away from my camp, get some breakfast, get my contacts in, and then we'll start another day out here. Just a gorgeous morning. It hasn't been raining really this trip. Usually it rains almost every day that I'm out here. And I just had rain, like a little sprinkle that first night that I was here. And other than that, it hasn't rained. So a lot of the lichen and moss and everything, it's starting to dry and get really, really, uh, what's the word? Crispy? Crunchy? Crumbly? One of those three, all of those three, I don't know. But it, it's just starting to get really dry. And uh, when it gets dry like that, anytime you walk on it, or the bears, or whatever, it just kind of breaks apart and falls apart. And uh, it's just kind of sad, because then it all just kind of dies. Whereas when it's wet, it uh, just holds together, it gets really spongy. So, uh, there hasn't been rain, but with this this fog, you know, some of the moisture condensed on the uh, vegetation, and it's just, it's really pretty, and I hope that'll be enough to hold it over until we get some rain out here, but uh, I don't know, a beautiful morning. I know I say that every morning, but truly, beautiful morning. See, so I'm going to going to eat and then uh, we'll start our day there's not not even a cloud in the sky so uh, the light will get pretty harsh pretty quick so after I've been out for a while taking pictures I'll probably come back here to camp and clean out my tent because with all that wind that we had I had a lot of debris blowing here a lot of dirt and I'll be honest that drives me nuts. I really don't like being in a tent that is dirty. So I'll probably come back here later and spend, you know, 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes, just cleaning and tidying up my tent a little bit. Let's get some brekkie. I'm hungry. And then we'll, uh, we'll start the new day. feels so nice to have a clean tent again. It's been a bit of a slower day. It's like weirdly calm. There's no wind, hardly a breeze or anything today. And uh, it's hot. I don't think I've ever had a day this hot out here in all the years that I've been coming out here. It is hot today. And uh, all the bears, when I went out this morning, it's just, it's even more quiet than it has been in all the spots that I checked. All the bears, I think they're just taking shelter in uh, whatever vegetation, whatever shade they can find because it is just, it's so hot today. Um, so yeah, I just, I went out this morning, 
didn't find much. Came back here to camp, uh, cleaned, cleaned out my tent because of all the debris and everything that had uh, blown in over the last few days with that crazy wind. And uh, yeah, I've just got it clean now. I'm about to get some lunch. Um, I guess lunch slash dinner. What's that called? Is that the liner? I guess we'll call it liner. I'm about to get some liner. And uh, then I'll go back out this evening, see what I can get. Uh, I did want to kind of, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I did want to go over my plans, updated plans for this trip. So last year, I don't know if you've watched last year's videos at all, but uh, last year I just had a fantastic time with uh, bears fishing. That's why I started coming out to this area in the first place years ago. And uh, it's just been a great area last year and a little bit the year before to find uh, bears fishing. So that's what I was hoping to get this year, focusing more on video footage just because I don't... Uh, I got some last year, but I'm really not happy with it. I was just barely getting into uh, video back then. Not that I've improved much, but I have improved a little bit, I think. And so I was hoping to kind of update some of my video stuff of bears fishing. As you guys have seen, this has been a very slow trip for bears fishing. And that's kind of what I've been focusing on. So I'm going to update my plan a little bit. And instead of focusing on the fishing bears, because they're not really fishing, uh, I'm going to capitalize, take advantage of what I do have to work with. So I've got those foxes that I found yesterday and I've got way more sows, female bears with uh, new cubs that were born this year than I've ever seen out here before. And they're very tolerant too. Most years I come out here, there's maybe one sow, maybe two sows with uh, sets of cubs. And usually they're very skittish, hard to photograph. But uh, this year they've been very tolerant and there's a lot of them. I've counted, I think, six or seven different uh, sows with cubs. And some of them are still pretty flighty, but there's uh, two or three of them that are pretty tolerant. So I'm just going to uh, change my plans a little bit. If I get fishing stuff, great. But uh, where I've been out here now, I don't even remember how many days it's been, three, four days, whatever. And I really haven't seen much fishing action. I'm going to change my focus on what I have available and uh, start working on uh, sows with cubs, those foxes, and then also a lot of the bears where they're just kind of bored uh, like we've seen already this trip and they're just kind of wrestling around playing around I'm gonna focus on some of that stuff too because it's fun to watch and uh, yeah we'll see see what I can get so that's the plan uh, I'm gonna get liner that's right and then I'm gonna go out change my focus a little bit uh, yeah let's focus on what we have available and uh, you know, really just make the most of what we have to work with. It's, it's, uh, you know, like I've said, it's just a beautiful place. And even though it's been a little bit slower, I'm still having a great time. I just love being out here and it's, it's always a lot of fun coming out here. I've been coming out here for years now and uh, I put those videos out from last year's trip, but I've actually got videos from uh, this will be the fourth year that I've made uh, like vlog type videos out here. Um, so 
those first two years. Maybe I'll put those together at some point and uh, get those out. I don't know. If you guys are interested in seeing those, let me know. If not, then uh, I'll just do it for uh, for myself and just have them for myself, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm rambling again. I do that a lot. So, Linner bears foxes. Let's do it. Thank you. 